Hey everyone, I am Akshat Singh, a third year undergrad in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at IIT Bombay. I am originally from Bihar, but I currently reside in Noida. Uh, my father works in General Electric and my mother is a homemaker. I live with my parents and I have a younger brother who is in class 7. Uh, from beginning, I was a really shy kid, but I was an intuitive, uh, intuitive one. So this intuitive feeling helped me find my way into maths uh, since 4th and 5th. And this base of maths, which I found in 4th and 5th, because maths was one of the most reasoning topic which I found, helped me carry it towards 8th, when I finally found my trigger. In 8th, in uh, me and my parents both felt that I was achieving decent marks in school, but I needed to challenge myself a bit more. And maths being my most strongest point, I thought going towards engineering would be a really solid option. So in 8th, I decided that I'll start my coaching journey from 9th. Uh, a coaching in my home place in 9th itself. Uh, when I joined coaching after 4-5 months, I felt I had always this feeling that am I sufficiently devoting my time in coaching towards a go cause or am I wasting my time there and self preparation would help me further. As the time progressed, I realized that uh, both are equally essential in this journey as coaching provides us a guided hand so that we walk on the correct path but self preparation is the one which helps us go faster in the direction. So I, in the long run, I felt that both were equally necessary and equally important in my journey. But a clear warning, I wasn't a very strong guy in a coaching, especially when I joined in ninth. I was one of the most uh, lost child here. I was people who didn't understand things from really start took a really long time. But as my time progressed towards in coaching, from ninth, tenth, I found my really feats in the coaching, and I continued my upward journey in eleven and twelve. Coming to my prep. In coaching, uh, I always focus as maths was my strongest point, but uh, I had always this thing in mind that towards the end of my preparation, I wanted all my three subjects to align together and be at equal stage before the exam. So hence, I devoted my time accordingly so that at the end goal, I'll have all the three subjects at the same level. So my strategy was really clear, be, uh, helping myself in the topics which are unclear and moving fast in the topics which I was really strong in. So after two years in coaching came the 11th standard and this was one of the crucial phase in everyone's preparation because this is the time when your school journey also intensifies as well as the coaching journey and you need to take every step really carefully here because one wrong step can mess up everything you have done. So my clear goal here was to excel in the topic. So I preferred wherever I was studying be it at school or at, call or at coaching I always had the clear motive of excelling in that topic. Because I had the clear understanding, if I excel in the topic, be the questions being asked at coaching or be at school, I would be able to answer them. And it will help my preparation by not learning the same thing twice. So this was always a clear strategy and I will always give this as an advice. Whenever you study, try to aim and achieve excellence in that subject. Because after achieving excellence, you don't need to study it multiple times. So during 11th, you get many distractions. But I, al I always suggest this and even this point got consolidated when I came to college that never leave your hobbies behind. They will help you further in the long run and even during preparation they help you in a very good way because I was not the kind of student who can sit for 2-3 hours continuously. Even now I can't sit for more than 45 hours, 45 minutes. So my trigger point was always after 45 minutes I will have to do something else be it listening to music or going out to play. And I'll always suggest if you are good in something, be it a hobby and a recreational purpose, try to continue it because it'll even help you during college. Strongly suggest to limit the time you spend on that thing. So after my prep stage got over and I got into IIT, uh, the first day at IIT was a day of really mixed feelings. Be it the anxiety of going to a new city, uh, to a new campus or the excitement of clicking the picture at the IIT Bombay sign, it was a really the uh, unmanageable, uncontrollable feeling because you know the excitement you want to reach the new campus, uh, the IIT Bombay campus and then you heard the stories of the hostels and how the facilities were there but I, in all and summing it up, I think my first day was really a good day the surroundings you feel there, they make you, they relax your nerves in a really smoothing way and you learn to control your emotions and you just go with the flow on that day uh, uh, my schedule at the start and current, I don't think they are differs too much uh, because your J journey really teaches you something except for clearing IIT, it teaches you how to stay in IIT also. If you put an, uh, the J journey helps you 
find a way into iit also because you already have done that kind of struggle which makes your life a fair bit easier in iit that's why the college saying that college studies are easier they're not easier because they're on paper easier it's because you have already put in the efforts in the past years that makes it feel that they are easier for you so it's a normal study for me that we have class in the morning and mostly in the afternoon you have labs after that it's all up to you how you want to spend we would want to spend researching something we would want to spend in sports this way the hobbies come in you can develop the hobbies in a long way because iit provides you with the infrastructure and with the time to focus on them even in the friends you make in iit are a totally different feeling be it you watching matches with them and uh, cheering on all the four sixes or the wickets it's a totally different spooling when there's a wicket goes and the whole hostel cheers together so it's a definitely a feeling you don't want to miss out to summit it out together uh, i feel iit really provides you with something which no other thing in the world could is this uttermost confidence in yourself after we are cleared a really tough exam like advance you get the feeling and a, a confidence in the personality that you can never get your personality really resonates with yourself and every action that you take be it with interacting with others or any task you perform you have that confidence to show in it to so i'll give a, a message to sum it all up i feel iit really makes it up for everything you have done in the past everything you missed it amplifies it by 10 times and gives it back to you so just one message if you if you put in the required efforts i can give it with the 100% confidence that you won't regret it iit really makes it up for it and in a really awesome way and you won't forget anything anything you missed in the 4 years and i really say anything you missed in the last 2 years